Hello guys, this is the fifth problem of homework 5, the allowable tensile stress for wires A and A B and A C is sigma allowable 109 megapascals and wire A B has a diameter of 5.1 millimeter and A C has a diameter of 6.5 millimeters. Determine the greatest force P that can be applied to the chain. So first I use the same approach as we use in the homo the problem one. I will find first the uh, TAB and TAC max. And then the second step will be the relationship between them. And then the third step is the value of P. So I know my sigma, my stress is equal TAB over area AB. So I know my sigma max is 109 megapascals, so 10 to the 6 equals TAB over my area, P over 4, times 5.1 times 10 to the minus 3 square. So I know my tension AB max is equal 3881.4 newtons. Doing the same approach for our stress in AC, I have TAC over my area AC. My maximum is the same, so 1990 times 10 to the 6 pascals. TAC max over P over 4 times 6.5 times minus 3 square. So my TAC max is equal 6304.8 newtons. Now our second step is our free body diagram. So here I have my ring A, here I have my force P, here I have my tension AC with an angle with an angle 345 and here I have my tension AB with an angle 45 degrees here. So I want to decompose my uh, tensions. So here I have TAC times 3 over 5. And here I have my TAC times 4 over 5. Well, if you want to use this angle or saying this here is 45 degrees as well, you can do. So I use here my TAB times cosine of 45 degrees is my x and my y using the 45 in red TAB times sine of 45 degrees. Now I can use the sum of the forces in x equals 0. I have TAC times 3 over 5 minus TAB times cosine of 45 equals 0. So first, I will do my analysis saying that my TAB equals TAC times 3 over 5 times cosine of 45 degrees. So this first step, I use my TAC max that it is 6,304.8 newtons. If I use this, I have my TAB will be 6,304.8 times 3 over 5 times cosine 45. And then I have my TAB equals 5,349 
0.8 newtons. You can see that this value is bigger than our TAB max. So you cannot use the value of 5345.8 newtons and neither this value 6304.8 newtons. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other analysis that TAC is equal TAB times cosine of 45 times 5 over 3. I know my TAB max is equal 3881.4 times cosine of 45 degrees times 5 over 3. So I know that my TAC is equal 4574.2 newtons. You know that is is less than our TAC max. So I can use this uh, value. So after this step, we discover our TAB is 3,881.4 newtons, and my TAC is equal 4,574.2 newtons. Now we're gonna use the sum of the forces in y direction equals zero. So I have TAB times sine of 45, as we did our in previous slide, plus TAC times 4 over 5 minus P equals 0. So I know my P is TAB times sine of 45 degrees plus TAC times 4 over 5. Now I know my P, I'll substitute my value, so 3881.4 times sine of 45 plus 4574.2 times 4 over 5. So I have my P max is 6404 newtons. Or if you prefer use three sig figures, you have 6.40 kilo newtons. So our maximum value of P is 6.40 kilonewtons.